Welcome. I'm with Dr. Zoltan Kamini and Harman Van Kamp from GACW talking about the Start Engine campaign that they're working on and some of the things behind their tech and their product. Harman, I'd like you to get us started. It's a pleasure to be chatting with both of us today. Can you give us a little bit of an introduction into the airless wheel? What is it? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, it's um, basically a, it's a steel drum outer drum with a rim. And on the inside, it's connected by air cylinders. Uh, this replaces the current inflated rubber tire and the rim. Um, so basically, we take the air out of the wheel and finally have an airless wheel solution. Fantastic. All right, we've set the tone. Let's talk about some specifics. Dr. Zoltan, can you talk to us about how you are literally reinventing the wheel here? Well, inventing or reinventing is practically problem solving. The problem shows up to you somewhere uh, incidentally, or you, you find it, you think about, you find a better solution because there should be a better way. Uh, uh, typically, or you say, I can do it better, I, I have a better solution, and then you work on it, uh, chisel it, and then sharpen it, and then you have the good solution. So in this case, I saw a problem that a rubber tire has such a large volume uh, that uh, we might as well hide inside that volume the suspension, which is otherwise above that level, and when it's higher on that level, the, the weight of the vehicle is on a higher level on springs, so it's very unstable. And then once you uh, bring the suspension inside the wheel, glow, glow, close to the ground, then the vehicle becomes more stable, and then you save a lot of space. You even save the chassis suspension. So that was the idea, and I worked out to perfection, as perfect a product can be. It's always Kaiser all, all, all around. Got it. Okay, so you kind of talked to us a little bit there about how you initiated the idea and what led to that. Can you talk to us a little bit about rolling resistance? What does that mean? The rolling resistance is similar to the sliding resistance. You pull a, a block uh, on a, a concrete surface and it has a resistance. You need a force to pull it. The same thing if you uh, pull an axle of a wheel, that is not without any force, much less than a sliding resistance, but still resist the wheel because there are uh, friction inside the wheel. And then also the rubber uh, compresses and that provides another source of rolling resistance, resisting the rolling, uh, literally. And then uh, because in this mechanical wheel, what we have, the hub can be outside of the contact patch ahead of it, can lead the, the support that has a negative rolling resistance effect, which is uh, rolling assistance. No other wheels can do this. Fantastic. Now, that part alone is extremely unique. And then tell us a little bit about the fuel saving impacts of this, right? The EV battery range is extended. What are the impacts and the effects of having that fuel saving component here? the engine has to spend power on overcoming the rolling resistance uh, for instance mining trucks half of the power it goes to overcome the rolling resistance and because we reduce this six to seven fold then comparably uh, we save fuel and uh, at least uh, in mining wheels we save 12 percent uh, fuel which is a big deal uh, in other uh, vehicles, uh, variable and depends on the on the ground and the type of vehicle. So that is one source uh, of the uh, fuel savings, and there are other sources which I don't want to go deeper now. No, absolutely. And then talk to us about the industries that this is going to impact, and how specifically is it going to make those changes? First, we picked up the mining industry because the wheels are larger, heavier, and heavier loaded and the need is more dire over there uh, than other industries, like uh, we did not pick up the Formula One racing cars, not because we cannot improve on that performance, but uh, that's a niche market. The mining industry uh, needs this badly. Uh, that shows from the uh, orders we already received. Uh, but then uh, it affects the construction, forestry, trucking. Trucking is just as large as mining. Uh, 
and uh, passenger cars comes later and goes down to the motorcycle and wheelchair and, and mountain bike because this is a general application need to be configured differently on each field, of course. Absolutely. And then as we start to move towards the close here, talk to us about differentiation, right? What can the ASW do that other wheels can't? Why is it unique specifically? One thing which I mentioned, and uh, the hub can be pulled ahead of the contact patch. In fact, the whole mechanism can be converted to a driving mechanism. Uh, then uh, because the, the cylinders which are in front of you, if you pull it with electronic control and the one which is behind you, you are pushing it, then you push the hub ahead all the time. The gravity is in front of you uh, pushing down over the wheel. So that's a driving mechanism. But that's for the future. Right now we use passive system, but that is absolutely unique. If you come out from a ditch, you are stranded in an off-the-road vehicle. Uh, this alone can allow you to come out from that almost effortlessly. With a, a rubber tire, the effort is higher and higher instead of getting lower and lower as you pull the axle ahead of time. Absolutely unique. Got it. Zoltan, you've given us an incredible amount of information. Dr. Zoltan, it's been a pleasure. Harman, can you take us through the close here? Just give us a bit of a recap about the industries, the applications that this is going to have impact on, and how you really see this as being really disruptive green tech. The main focus we have is, is really the environment at the moment. Um, fuel saving we have, the rubber tire waste. We started with OTR, uh, so the off-the-road applications for mining. But like uh, what Dr. Zoltan also said is... We're going to the passenger cars, to trucks. Uh, we're really trying to reduce the 30 billion tires waste uh, a year that we're, we're, we're seeing. And <clears throat> it even has an application to wheelchairs, to bicycles, anything, any vehicle with wheels, really. Uh, and yeah, there's so many benefits to it. And this is really what I've been told as well by industry experts and insiders. This is the holy grail that they've been looking for, you know, the airless tire uh, solution that we finally have been able to crack. So it is really, in effect, reinventing the wheel that everyone always tells you not to, but uh, yeah, we, we believe you do need to re reinvent the wheel and do exactly the opposite. Literally reinventing the wheel, one of the oldest concepts of our time. Dr. Zoldan Kennedy and Harman Van Kamp from GACW, been an absolute pleasure speaking with you both. Thank you for being here. Thank, Thank you, Michael. Thank you.